and then he was like like why are you here kind of thing <laughs> why are you here why are you speaking to me i was like oh i know i'm not caught to singleness i know that i know for a fact hi guys and welcome back to my channel so today i'm gonna show you guys how i achieve this simple seamless look while also sharing my hinge dating experience so yeah if you want to kind of know what happens how my experience has been going so far but also how you can achieve this flawless makeup look is very simple for every day then stay tuned and keep watching don't forget to like comment and subscribe and i'll catch you in the next one <laughs> i've actually put nothing on my face apart from a facial so i'm gonna use a bit of sunscreen because i will be stepping outside i'm actually getting ready for church when you put sunscreen on obviously it's like the last step but when you're incorporating it into your makeup it's certainly not the last step so you do all of this before primer i put my serum on I put my sunscreen especially for stepping outside and sometimes I also actually use this gentle magic this thing kind of makes my face really matte and then I put on my primer um, so it just depends on like what I'm doing I'm doing or what kind of vibe I'm going for um, but prepping your skin is certainly important you want to do this on a clean face and that's exactly what we've got here today we're gonna use this primer it's a mattifier primer which is certainly on its last leg <laughs> let's take this off guys i tried to do my edges and it wasn't given so all i'm gonna say is don't laugh at me oh goodness me oh child pretend <laughs> you don't see that let's just pretend that's not there all right all right let's get into the video okay okay let's get into the video you feel me want to prime your face whilst we get ready we're gonna talk about hinge and <laughs> my experience so far and how it's going okay so i'm just gonna brush out my eyebrows as well so i was on hinge last year there was one particular guy i was speaking to and uh, we were kind of getting to know each other they were, they really wanted to ask to meet and so i wanted to meet them too but the time we had matched i was literally getting ready to leave the country you know so there was literally no time to to see them like properly because i had other things i needed to sort out before and taking you know hours or day because you know when you have work and you need to go on a day that literally like takes the whole day but i needed to like do shopping and like all these things because i'm going to south africa like that's a big deal i mean we still kind of spoke but eventually cut it off because i basically wasn't available i'm like <laughs> what i wasn't gonna be there for the rest of my life so that ended i feel like this was what when that goes when that goes south africa february so it feels like forever ago i'm gonna be using the clinique concealer and this is in the shade wn100 deep honey and is the clinic even better concealer so just gonna use a little bit on my eyes so just this way so because of that we kind of stopped communicating and actually since then we've actually been in communication but they are i think they are now dating which is fine so i moved on and i'm like okay i guess it wasn't meant to be we were not supposed to even meet because we that chance was basically not given like which Sometimes when I look at it, I'm like, hmm, is that weird? No. So I started matching with other people. But the thing about Hinge is, I don't know, maybe you guys tell me, is it a thing where you need to pay before you actually see, like, a certain caliber of men? <laughs> like, I don't, I don't get it. it. Don't get me wrong, I do see, like, some really good men. But some of them, I'm like, yo. <laughs> Yo, if I tell you, Hinge will literally test. Hinge will test you. Like, for real, for real. I actually um, used this and I thought it was a bit lighter. So I went and got a different shade. So I'm going to actually try that. I'll, I'll put this on my face and then put the other one and then we can see if it's the same or not. I'll put a bit of that here. Not too much. They kind of put it in like a tube for me to kind of just test out. yeah i think this is a better match i can't lie yeah i think this shade is a better match actually just check the description box all the details will be there 
and then because also when I when I come back to UK we would have been in March and then soon it'll be my birthday so I just wanted to like kind of step away so naturally I wasn't really on hinge I just kind of took a natural break um, I was still on the app but I believe I paused it around that time do my birthday and then I come back and then I'm like actually yeah like I'm kind of ready to like you know put myself out there again but the thing with hinge is like you find people liking you who you're like, did you, did you even read my profile? Like, did you did you actually go through to see anything about me and what it said before you liked my picture? Like, why are you liking me when you haven't even read my profile? <laughs> it's so weird. It's like, are you guys serious? Are you like, so, so weird? Because some of them, I'm like, you definitely didn't read. You definitely didn't look at my profile at all. You just saw a picture that you liked and you just went ahead and liked me. And... Hinge will really test your patience and it will test your ability to just be calm and it will even I feel like it will even challenge your confidence because you're like how are you like and it's not to say that you know you are better or anything than anybody but some people you just look at them you're like you definitely didn't read my profile because what Did you get it anyway I was feeling like that and then I made a match that I was really happy about we were getting to know each other how did this thing end with this guy calling me unreasonable, please? <laughs> but when I think about it, it's actually so funny. It actually made me so upset in the in the moment. And I was like, what, what are you talking about? Unreasonable? <laughs> the tea is that we were talking, right? And we were getting to know each other and whatnot. And then we kind of got to the point where we were talking about friendships and like the opposite gender friendships. And like, oh yeah, I have like guy friends, but like there's a very clear boundary, you know, and so on. I know my friends, so I can speak for my friends. And then I asked him, oh, what about you? And then he was like, oh, you can trust me. Like, you know, again, cause it's so early days. I kind of just left it at, you can trust me. Like you can trust my intuition and you can trust the kind of friendship I will keep around. That was the end of the conversation. I left it there. Time goes. Oh, the, the background of this that I need to give you is that he was actually always taking so long to respond. Um, in my opinion. Again, he's an entrepreneur, so he's very busy. So on and so forth. Like I completely completely get it because you know we are all busy, but so am I. I'm also somebody that has a nine to five, I'm busy. And um, I'm new in my career, so sometimes, you know, even outside of work hours, I'm trying to learn and all these things, right? Um, so I'm like, yeah, you're busy, so am I. But I'm sorry if you like somebody, you're going to make time for them. You're going to make time to speak with them and to, like, get to know what's up with them. You you will. I'm so sorry, but you will. Nobody in their right mind. I mean, unless you don't like the person. When, when I actually like somebody, what are you talking about? I want to I wanna speak to them. <laughs> We are all busy, but again, we make time for what we like and what we we want. So already, I was kind of feeling a type of way. Um, the fact that he was always taking so long to respond. I kind of spoke to him about it. He then said he was busy. I'm like, okay, cool. I mean, so I, aren't we all? Contour stuff to my cheeks area while the concealer sit a bit. This is literally the trick, guys. Let your concealer sit a little bit, marinate, and get deep into the skin before you kind of start blending it out. So whilst that happens, I'm just going to put the contour on my face. Yeah, I'm like, do you know what? This guy then said, oh, when he told me, oh, yeah, you can, like, trust me because, obviously, like, this guy is a Christian. He was like, yeah, you can trust the friendships I keep. The conversation ends. It literally didn't go anywhere. So now, one day, I just messages him that, like, you know, <laughs> I don't even want to say it, but I was like, this is getting boring, like, for real, because he's always taking so long to respond. And as a result of me saying that, again, this probably came from an emotional place. He tried to then come back at me with logic. Like, as if I was insulting him. Now, in hindsight, I've spoken with some of my friends about it. And they've told me maybe I shouldn't have said that. So I, I can accept that, right? And I appreciate that feedback. I'm like, okay, cool. Maybe I shouldn't have said that. But it was genuinely like... Are you actually not gonna make time to speak to me like <laughs> what's going on it's all everyday excuses and every damn busy and like to me that just doesn't run because we are genuinely all busy though what is it to say that you are busy but i'm not i'm also busy and i could easily not respond to your text but because i'm trying to get to know you i'm gonna give you that space to like you know talk to you i'm very bad with testing as well but if i'm responding to because you don't know me you think oh this guy is available 
I'm so bad and I'm genuinely making time to actually speak and respond to your messages. So don't take it for granted now. So I'm a bit like pissed, right? And that's why I kind of say this is getting boring now because I'm genuinely getting bored of like you always taking, you know, time to respond. But now when I look back at it, I think he may probably have thought that I'm saying he's boring, which I wasn't. That's not even what I was implying. But this guy gave me no room to like explain myself or like he could have even responded oh why do you think that this guy sent me <laughs> a paragraph and then started calling me unreasonable and i'm like huh how am i unreasonable now he's bringing up the fact that i basically said oh i have guy friends but i you know there is like boundaries and things and then me asking him what about him he now has taken that message and said that i have double standard and i said that I can have guy friends, but he cannot have female friends. What? I never said that. We never got that far in the conversation. You told me, oh, you can trust my intuition. You can trust, you know, what I've got going on. And that conversation ended right there. But now he's bringing up other things. And I'm like, <laughs> what? How did we get here? Like, the whole thing has been lost in translation. He's calling me unreasonable. And that actually, like, I took a bit of an offense to it. And I'm like, what? You want to come with me with logic? But that logic is not even logicking. Do you get what I mean? Because how can you, how can I say, oh, I have guy friends, but there's boundaries. And I asked you, and you've taken that as a double standard. So he's saying I'm unreasonable because I have double standards. I, not. Not when it comes to that. Also, I don't know you, so I can't speak on your friends. And if you're telling me I can trust what you got going on, I'm just going to leave it alone. You get me? Okay, let me start blending this out before it actually dries out. But this is um, a concealer brush. It's new, so I'm just going to test it out and see how it works. Oh, okay, it's blending well. You want, you don't want to drag it. The, the goal is literally to just dab it like literally and if you find that you go back in and it's a bit too too dried out literally just spray your face and then blend it out so yeah now i just begin to tell him like listen it's not it's not that i'm coming for you it's just that i don't have double standard he didn't give me the chance to explain what i meant what i was trying to say or even defend myself he was just like no you said this you meant this da -da -da -da, and then that was it and then afterwards, now I did some self-reflection. I felt bad. And then I tried to like message him. And I was like, um, he got, obviously I told you he's like an entrepreneur. So I sent him like some TikTok that I saw that could potentially benefit his business. And then he was like, like, why are you here? Kind of thing. <laughs> it's like, why are you here? Why are you speaking to me? I was like, oh. And then I just removed myself. And I was like, okay. All right. Cool. I've clearly like hurt your feelings it wasn't it genuinely wasn't my intention but I guess we're here now so I gotta take my L and you gotta take yours too because now you've missed out on something just because of miscommunication and misunderstanding you know for the longest that actually really hurt my feelings well not for the not for too long but do you get what I mean because I'm like how are you calling me names when you actually haven't even taken the time out to understand what is happening here and do you get what I mean um, but then again, as a result of that, I left Hinge, took a break, and then eventually I deleted the app. <laughs> I kind of told myself, okay, I'm deleting this app, and then I'm going to kind of come back onto Hinge in the new year. So now I'm back onto Hinge, and I'm trying to, like, approach things a little differently. So again, if you have, like, tips and tricks, please let me know. I'm like, should I, is this an app I should be paying for? Um, to actually see the people that are my type that I want to speak to or should I just like be on the free version for like time my plan at the minute is to kind of be on the free version right and then um, give it some time to marinate to kind of see people that are liking me and then if it's still the same where people are just not reading my profile and liking me and I'm like seriously like <laughs> I was supposed to do with you, you know, um, then I may consider paying for it. 
and maybe I'll pay for it for like three months if not then I'll leave it maybe then it means you know I'm supposed to meet the person in real life because I know I'm not caught to singleness I know that I know for a fact okay that I know like God God did not create me to be alone or to to be single for the rest of my life God knows I want a companion but I'm not gonna like I'm not in a rush it will be nice to have it now but I'm not in a rush and yeah I'm just waiting on God but that means it may actually not be on hinge, especially if I give it this last attempt and it doesn't work out. I'm going to take my MUA blush and just use a little bit of that on my cheeks. So I'm just going to wait on God, go to more events, pull myself out there again. If you watched my was in and out for 2024, you know that I said I don't go out a lot. So one of my goals this year is to just step out a little bit more out of my comfort zone i like going to museums and art exhibitions so i want to do that more and again it's something i know i like because i've been like what once twice and i could do it more go by myself see what kind of people i meet there if you like something and you do that thing then you're gonna meet other people doing it too do you get what i mean um again i'm not saying this is why i'm gonna meet my person but i'm saying i need to step out a little bit more yeah i mean if you guys have got some tips <laughs> It feels weird because like I'm coming to the internet for tips, but I mean, let me know, you know, your thoughts, even on like the story of the people that I was speaking to and then it didn't work out. It's a shame, but such is life, honestly. And you just gotta move on because not everybody gets to experience, you know, how great you are. <laughs> uh, again, we probably say these things to like make ourselves feel better. But I generally always feel better when I say stuff like that because it's true. Like he definitely missed out on something great. And all because of what? Miscommunication. Um, but yeah, you guys let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. Oh, I think I definitely went a bit heavy handed on that blush. But it's nothing we can't fix now, can we? I'm just going to use my foundation brush to kind of brush it out a little bit more yeah put yourself on hinge is not easy because some people are serious some people are not some people are respectful some people are not like i actually matched with this guy that was so respectful we had just matched let's say like a day before or like two days before and i guess his conversation with somebody else has really progressed so he just he just literally sent me a message hi tracy i like you i think you look amazing but unfortunately i've matched with somebody else um, and we've been speaking for a while and things seems to be progressing so I'm gonna be leaving the app and you know just wish me the best and I'm like thank you I wish you the best too like that's amazing thank you for letting me know and I think that is so sweet and honestly you do meet you know people on there that are really amazing and looking for something real um and I think that's just so beautiful it's just you know one of those things that you just gotta pull through I'm just gonna go in with the Urban Decay Naked Heat palette and the colors here are beautiful and neutral like reddish neutral and I love it nothing too crazy just like that mm -mm. this eyebrow is always so dark because it naturally has body it's naturally dark but guys have literally done nothing to it it's naturally thick now i'm just gonna go in and use MUA academy loose powder and because it's translucent it naturally once you set your face it actually blends out i'm not baking nothing because again when you're doing this quick you just wanna be going i then go in and use my black up highlighter that's the job it's got like four different shades so often this is like my favorite i'm just gonna go in not pick too much now we don't wanna overdo it because again it's just everyday look you actually don't need excess amount it's just to kind of bring a little bit of shimmer to your face nothing scary and just line my lip let me know your hinge experiences when i finish my lip line i go in for my urban decay all night a setting spray this thing is amazing um yeah so let's do that Ooh, I love it. it just brings a little bit of moisture back to your face and it's amazing i go in with my ysl this is in the shade rouge percotor 16 
so I don't need too much I've lined my lip I literally put like two dots and of course you can't go without your gloss I mean I don't <laughs> I don't know about y'all but I'm such a gloss babe like my mascara and in this case this is the Clinique high impact mascara in black and now you can see the mascara is on it looks so cute um, the hair I want it to kind of look messy so the fact that like all of this is coming I like it thank you guys do you guys like it this is literally my everyday makeup it's very simple I don't use that much product when I'm trying to like do this I tend to do it very quickly as well it's so simple to achieve and my lips often is my favorite because it's just so cute um, my eyebrows however need some help but you know that's another thing we can get into another day but yeah thank you let me know what you think this is my hinge experience as well and now I'm back on hinge giving it another go and I'll report back how it goes um, <laughs> so thank you guys so much for watching and I will catch you in the next one bye